guys. <sighs> I know by the title, you guys are like, what is going on? Well, the title does explain what's going on, but I'm here to explain, okay? And hi, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Wajiha Bankole, and welcome to my channel. And for those of you who've been here, welcome back to my channel. And okay, so yes, I am getting knee surgery. I am getting ACL um, reconstruction and my meniscus repaired. Um, so this is gonna be like the information segment of the video. Not sure how long this video is gonna go, but um, I'm gonna try to make it as long as I can and put a lot of like my recovery timeline in this video. Um, my surgery is tomorrow. February 12 at 7 30 a.m. and it's currently Sunday today uh, today is February 11th that's why I am doing my intro out of the way how did I um, injure my knee so my left knee is the one that is injured um, in high school I was an athlete I played soccer I ran cuss country I ran track I am a very athletic person um, but sophomore year of high school which was like three years ago <laughs> during a game um i remember i was running towards the ball and something happened with my knee all i know is i felt a huge pain at the time i did not know i had torn my acl my dad took me to the emergency room the next day um i remember them telling me oh it's just a ligament strain it's nothing it will it will get better you're fine they gave me crutches and they wrapped it up they gave me medication for the pain okay cool after that that was the downfall for my knee um every time i do something like run or you know exercise my knee would shift that's what i would tell myself i didn't know what was going on i just counted it as it shifting um so that has been going on for like almost four years now. I just was always going through pain, especially when it's cold, like during the winter, baby, my knee is always in shambles. Um, so last year I told my primary doctor, I was like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but this is that, that is that. Um, I was told something different, but I, th I think there's more to it. Um, she made me get an x-ray. Obviously it was, it's not the bone. Um, then she made me get an MRI, which can I just say the MRI machine, I am not messing with it. Um, we get the MRI, she gets it. Um, I get a call off from my parody doctor and she's like, girly pop. Well, she didn't really say girly pop, but that's just, that's just how I'm saying it. She's like, girly pop, you will be walking around with a knee that is hanging on by a thread. She didn't really say that, but you know, I got to make it a little extra. <laughs> She's like, I have a grade A tear on my ACL. Um, and then I have a bucket tear in my meniscus. Like my rib is really bad. Um, I get a referral to a author, um, Pittick, and he was like, how long? did this happen three years anyway she's like you've been walking around with this for that long i'm like look <laughs> i don't know what to tell you dude i was told it was just a sprain anyways he told me the procedure that i'm getting my acl uh, reconstructed um and then my meniscus they won't really know until they go in there anyways um i'm sitting there and i'm like nervous girl let me tell you i am nervous I've never gotten surgery before. I am scared for the anesthesia. I don't like it, the concept of it, putting me to sleep, the thought of that, I don't like that. It scares me. Um, so yeah, and you know, we set my surgery date, which is tomorrow, and now we're here. Um, I remember, I'm like, oh, it's just a month away. Oh, it's just a couple of weeks away. Oh baby, now it's here. Mm -hmm. Now it's here, and I don't know what to do. I went to go pick up my medications the other day, girl. Let me tell you, the amount of medications I have to take is crazy. Um, but I'm nervous, I'm scared, and I guess that's why I am filming this video. For anybody else that is getting the same surgery or similar surgery, and you're nervous, I want you to come to this video, and hopefully my surgery goes well. So like. It's all good vibes. Um, and I also want to look back on it once my knee is healed and I'm back in the gym. I'm back being active and, you know, look back at it and be like, girl, what were you scared for? Nah, look, you're doing this, you're doing that. But you were over there crying after your appointment. Like, <laughs> 
it was never that serious yeah i want to look back so that's why i'm filming this video anyways i wanted to film my intro out of the way it's all for my information part of this video okay oh <sighs> we got this okay see you guys tomorrow hi guys um it's surgery day Ugh. and it's 6 32 i'm waiting for my dad well me and my sister are waiting for my dad um to get off work and come get us so we can go over to the surgery center how do i feel i'm still nervous and scared i didn't go to sleep till two um so yeah i'm like nervous all i want to do is drink water but i have to remind myself i can't i'm supposed to be fasting so i can't drink water um so that's a dilemma because like my chest is like ugh. This is my outfit. Um, I have these PJs from Target. Um, and they're just like flared. And then just my sweater and my black shirt. And I have sandals that I bought from Target. And yeah, so that's the outfit. And yeah. Okay. Hi guys. Oh my God, I really look horrible. Um, I've been put through hell by that lady over there. <laughs> Don't put that in No, because she's putting me through heck. Heck? What are you, a Disney Channel kid? Say the password. Say with your chest. <laughs> I can't cuss on here. Can we cuddle? No! This bed cannot. Can we, I just want to cuddle. No, go on. Anyways, they're going to be coming soon to give me my anesthesia. Look. Anesthesia. <laughs> My anesthesia. Anna, Anna. Leave me alone. This is American speaking English. Um, I'm nervous as heck. I want to cry. This is scary. But, you know, we're here. It's it's about to be done. Y'all, look at what this girl is doing. She's using me for clout for real. Weirdo. Let's see what he did. He loved it. Oh, they branding you like they do the slaves. <laughs> Black history, but I'm in America. As my sister, they get so Did you clean my camera? Because I'm so hot, so like when I'm next to you, like it makes you look almost like they say less hot. Okay. He looks so beautiful. Okay, bye. Bye. I love you. Love you too. Off you go. Okay, guys, this is this is her, and off she goes. If I so tired. Good stuff. Oh, this is the good stuff to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is there anything you'd like to say? Um, I don't know. Okay. That's okay. Uh, hi, guys. I'm home. So I'm trying to eat as much as I can so I can use my paint killers because it's starting to really hurt. Um, I'm still pretty much out of it. Like, all I want to do is sleep. Hi, besties. Um, so, it's like 4 p.m. now. I just went to the bathroom again. It's definitely a struggle and, like, hard felt like I was gonna pass out like three times I'm shaking so much and I don't know why um, it's hard it's still hard for me to talk because of my throat thing or whatever um, and since I think my nerve block is starting to wear off I can now feel the pain a lot when I'm trying to like use my crutches so that's a <laughs> downside I try to remind myself not to put my foot down because I accidentally done that like two times already. And I don't want to keep doing that because it hurts. Um, it 
feels like my leg is swollen up, but I don't think it is. But my mind, it feels like it is. Anyways, um, hi guys, it's 9:48. Um, I got up around like eight something to go brush my teeth. My dad helped me, and that was hard i was really dizzy i was like i almost fell i almost fainted while like in the restroom brushing my teeth it was painful getting back my bed it's still really painful right now just went back to sleep and then i woke up like five minutes ago my mom helped me go to the bathroom that was that was hard also um my dad made me ogi but it's like palm it's like an African like meal because um, of my throat it's easy to like swallow and it like burns my throat so yeah oh my god you can see where they put the tube oh, that's crazy I got a banana <laughs> and then tea lots of tea um as for the aching it's it's a lot it's a lot um so yeah that's my update hi besties um i woke up again and we took a another nap it's 3 15 right now um i took my pain meds around i forgot it knocked me out but guess what came y'all Magnolia into the dark came. I pre-ordered it. It came out today and they brought it today. Kudos to Amazon. But oh my god, it's so stunning. This is 800 pages full of pain and tears. I cannot cannot comprehend it. Like this is thick, y'all. Anyways, that's my update. Um I'm not feeling as much pain as I was feeling this morning. Um that's because I took my meds, so it's helping me like Deal with it. Before I take my meds, I could feel pain all over my left side. Talk to you guys soon. Hi, besties. It's 6.25. I just woke up again for another nap. It took me a minute to be able to sleep because of the pain. I had to readjust a couple of times because now my leg feels uncomfortable wherever I set it. I feel swollen. My throat still hurts. Um, I wish I had some positive like updates to tell you guys, but literally this is my first day of recovering. I don't think there'll be any positive input soon or update. Yeah, there won't be any positive updates. Uh, my sister got me Dutch Bros. This is a milkshake because I've been craving milkshakes and I'm hoping the cold helps my throat. I did start my reading vlog today. I was really proud of myself. I read to... I guess that's positive. <laughs> I read to chapter 2. You guys will be seeing that video after this one. Um, but then I started getting sleepy. I guess the pain kills... The pain pills are still in my system. I'm still here. I'm still sitting here. My, my brothers hung out with me today. So shout out to them. They helped me while my mom was out. Whenever I needed anything. So shout out to them. They were sitting right there coloring. So. Hi guys. Um. It's 8.49. I just came back from the restroom. My mom helped me. And it feels like the pain is getting worse. Like. It feels like there's a tight. It's tight. Around my my knee, it's so uncomfortable, and I look horrible. <laughs> but it's so uncomfortable, and it hurts really bad. Hi guys, it's currently 11:09, and I'm currently doing the ice therapy. I'm currently doing that. It hurts really bad today. Like the pain is at a 10 today. Unlike yesterday. It kept waking me up from my sleep. 
I've cried three times today because of the pain. Um, I finally took my meds, my pain meds, a few minutes ago. So that's helping a little bit. But I don't know if we're doing this right. Because <laughs> I'm not feeling any cold. But I don't know. I mean, I do have like a lot of dressing on my knee. So maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, the pain is a lot. I'm supposed to do this for 30 minutes. I don't know how long it's been. <sighs> but it's hard to sleep with this pain. Like, I'm so uncomfortable. No matter where I put my body or like try to move, it hurts really bad. And then it hurts to my toes. I'm hoping this eyes therapy helps the swelling. Cause my my leg is swollen a lot, but it hurts so bad. My I'm shaking, like my whole body is shaking. Anyways, that's my update. In so much pain. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys. Okay, so here's an update. It's 7:26 p.m. and um the pain has definitely gone down. My pain meds kicked in. I was able to finally sleep without feeling like pain there was a couple of times where my knee would jerk like pain wise and wake me up but after a while it didn't do that anymore again I think it's the pain meds um but it's starting to come back I think my pain meds are wearing off because I took them like almost like six hours ago so it's starting to wear off so I'm starting to feel the pain and like the stiffness and like the tension around my knee and like my whole left side um so i wouldn't say the pain is at a 10 earlier it was at a, like a thousand plus right now it's sitting at like a six or seven so that's bearable i'm able to hold it in um i have been reading for my reading vlog um so i'm very proud of myself that i'm able to read for that video I've um, but yeah, so in terms of pain, the pain is now starting to come back, but I'm just sucking it in. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm just, I've just been here. I've been in and out, like sleepy and awake, sleepy, sleepy, you know, um, which again, I think is the pain meds that's making me sleepy. Yeah. So that's my update hey guys. Okay. So it's Thursday. Um, it's now day four post surgery. I don't know. Post op is that the right word? Um, I'm I was able to shower today, so that was good. And I changed my shirt and washed my face. <laughs> um, did my skincare. I am breaking out like a little bit because. I haven't been like consistent with my skincare since I've been stuck here. In terms of pain, it's not as bad as yesterday. It's just like aching right now. Um, I'm supposed to change my bandage today, but yeah, so I'm just here. Sorry, pain. <laughs> I feel okay i feel clean so that's a plus like new shirt it was about time the other shirt was like going through it um and yeah like just here so that's the update hi guys it's friday and i'm still here it's currently i don't know 11 34 a.m. here i'm still in pain my mom brought me breakfast but i couldn't eat a lot like i could only eat like four spoons so i'm able to use my medication but i'm like just i don't know i honestly don't know it's so weird i'm in pain i'm uncomfortable i'm sleeping <laughs> That's all I can do is sleep. My painkillers make me really sleepy. And I'm sad because, like, 
I want to film reading vlogs and stuff so I can have videos to like put out next month for you guys but oof, I can't even read one chapter of my book that I'm currently reading for a video without being in pain so I had to take a step back from that so I don't know if I'm gonna be reading today just because of the pain levels that I'm in right now maybe if it gets better towards the end of the day but I don't know I don't know I just feel so uncomfortable I keep moving hoping wherever I move to is a lot better still here still in pain good morning guys it's Saturday and it's 1131 um, I woke up today to the most uncomfortable, painful feeling. Um, it felt like the pain I got on Wednesday or Thursday, but two times worse. It was waking me up from my sleep because it was so uncomfortable. At first I thought, oh, it's my knee brace. Maybe my knee brace is too tight. I kind of loosened it a bit. Nope still the same pain and then i took my painkiller just one um to help me because i try to get through the pain myself without using pain like meds but y'all the pain is just too much i cannot do it okay um that's my update hi guys um uh, it's sunday and it's currently 2 16 p.m i was in a lot of pain yesterday guys i was very uncomfortable and just going through it and it was horrible um and i was just sleeping a lot <laughs> um but today the pain isn't as bad as yesterday i'm just uncomfortable but it's not like bad like yesterday was a high like 20 like i'm not even trying to be dramatic y'all i could not pick up the camera i did not film for my reading vlog i did not even read for my reading vlog I was just highly uncomfortable yesterday and just I cried it, it was horrible I did my homework I just finished it it was really easy um, so I'm glad the pain isn't as bad today because I was able to get stuff done but yeah the the recovery journey is <laughs> a struggle and very much bumpy right now but I always have to remind myself that it's like six days post-surgery it's bound to happen like it's healing um but i guess the pain is not what i was expecting there's some days i'm able to like hold in the pain but there's some days where i literally can't and as someone who has high pain tolerance there's some like days that i just I can't like yesterday i could not like even if i tried i just could not it was i was hot like i was hot that's how bad it was um for example i get like leg spasm out of nowhere in the middle of my sleep my brother said i was screaming in the middle of my sleep um and that was because i got a leg spasm like pain shoot from my knee to my thigh and then back down to my toes and that is not fun that is horrible and there's sometimes where it would just like grab me and just hold me for like a good two two minutes and i'm i literally have to hold in my breath and just like breathe through it horrible um so yeah the pain is definitely not what i expected it's not it's mentally draining me and, um so that has been happening i just want to be as transparent as possible but yeah i'm physically in pain but mentally i'm also like going through it um i've had like so many breakdowns over this um it's not fun um yeah laying in bed all day seems like a great thing but when you're in pain it is not fun i'll see you guys tomorrow or later depending on how i feel okay hi besties um long time i don't know i don't know when the last time i picked up this camera and like updated you guys or vlogged for you guys for this particular video my shirt is literally dirty don't even you know what I'm gonna do that because I'm like embarrassed <laughs> I just like stained it with food but besides the point 
so we're still here yep um watching youtube right now and it is um wednesday the 21st it is 9 32 a.m okay why did i stop like updating you guys and all that stuff honestly i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm trying to be as transparent as possible on this video because it is to help someone that is probably getting the same surgery as me that i did um my mental health hit rock bottom <laughs> my mental health hit rock bottom i was in so much pain i was uncomfortable i just got to a point where i just did not do anything obviously wasn't doing anything prior but in terms of video wise i did not film for my reading vlog did not start new videos i was supposed to start in terms of mental health it was just sitting in bed for a week because it's it's been a week um i am now going into my second week i started my second week on tuesday i would say um so yeah i picked with the camera today because i have some positives to give you guys and i'm so happy because all the freaking updates prior it's been negatives but i have positives for you guys so yay okay positive one i have been able to go to the um loft area which is the second living room in our house i've been able to sit there for like a good 30 minutes 35 it gets cold and i come back in my room but it's been a change so that has helped a lot for my body because honestly let's be honest laying here all day every day is not good for your joints babes it's not um so that has been oh good another positives is yesterday i was able to go to the bathroom myself not in terms of oh my god i walked on my surgery knee no i'm still supposed to be no weight bearing um but i'm able to since the pain is not bad it's more of i think my incisions are healing because i could feel it like itching which it's so uncomfortable though I'm able to you know find a way to get out of bed myself which is being amazing i now have my crutches right next to me I'm able to go to bed myself i did it last night everyone was asleep so i had to do it so i was very proud of myself so that is a positive and i'll see you next time i have an update for you guys hi guys it's thursday i took a shower today yeah! but, but there is bad news okay i took a shower we used the bag to protect my leg my knee um that didn't work that didn't work tell me why water did get into my dressings and they're all wet they're all wet i would show you but like i don't want to trigger anyone <laughs> i have a shirt right here i use i try to use this shirt to dry them it kind of worked but they're still like wet so yeah and now i'm just sitting here with my leg <laughs> like out um so scared i don't know if this is good to have it out like this so hopefully nothing happened anyways yeah okay hi guys um so it's saturday the 24th today and i just got done getting ready <laughs> limping my way to the bathroom and everything um did my skincare finally put my earrings back on because i was tired of looking like a little boy um but anyways my friends are coming today to visit me so i'm so excited um and nervous because i think this will be the first time i ever had friends over like at our house um so i'm excited for that also bad i guess it's, it's it was bad news for me i was sad okay i got a call from my doctor's office yesterday saying that my doctor isn't available on monday which is supposed to be my post-op appointment which is kind of crazy because they did that appointment like three weeks before my freaking surgery so anyways um so now my post-op appointment is moved to tuesday at 9 a.m which I, I know it's just one day just one day but for me i was starting to count out the days 
I'm like, okay, three more days. Now it's like, it's actually three more days now. I, no, wait, four more days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Four more days. Um, for me to still have this darn knee brace on, um, she's like so annoying. But another thing is since they moved my post-op appointment from Monday, I had to lose my spot for physical therapy because I had to call them and I'm like, hey, I can't go to physical therapy if I'm not cleared to go to physical therapy. So I need a new date and the only date they could give me was Friday and now I'm going to have to call them again because my dad isn't home on Friday. Um, I know once they clear me, I can start putting pressure on her little by little. I'm scared to go down the stairs on Tuesday because I haven't gone down the stairs in two weeks. Well, almost two weeks. Monday will make it two weeks. But I have been spacing out the updates because it would just be the same. Like the first week of my surgery, I made sure I give you guys updates. Like sometimes hourly, sometimes a day, you know, um, because that is the week where a lot is happening. Like the week where the healing is like full on. The second week, I hit a bump mentally. So I really did take a break. Um, but now I'm just like spacing it out because this video is already so long. I don't want it to make it longer. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, she's just saying the same thing over and over again. I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible I mean, to you guys. So yeah, um, I'm going to cut this off. I don't know, maybe today or tomorrow, but I'm going to record it for you guys because I feel like that's just a rite of passage to cut these off. I'm going to keep them as um memory i don't know it's stupid but i'm that type of a person but i wanted to cut it off with you guys i'll see you guys um later today I know. Well, you get your steps in guys okay my friends just left we talked for a good like hour um and they brought me duncan is that's a plus <sighs> that's a plus for today love that um, it was nice talking to people <laughs> that are in my family. They brought me snacks, they brought me chips, um, and candy and ice cream. It's right here, but I can't get it, so sorry guys. But yeah, that was, it was nice talking to them. Um, shout out to Julia and Ornov. I love y'all. Um, and yeah. Anyways, I didn't get a lot of footage, just them here. But that was because we were like just catching up and talking. I had fun. I was really happy that they came. I needed that. I, when I tell y'all I needed that, I needed that. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys Tuesday. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's post op day. Yeah! I don't know if I should be happy or not. Like I'm genuinely just scared. It's gonna hit me with when I get there. But anyways, it's time to cut off these um these bands. They've been on me for two weeks now. So we're going to snap them off. This is like a big deal, guys. Yeah! <laughs> one down. Second one. Yeah! Oh. Ah. And we're done with them. Such a sleigh. It was about time. This one is starting to fade because of water. Um, and I had just been too lazy to take them off. February 27 today. And my appointment is at 9 a.m. And it's currently 7.32. I woke up at like 4 a.m. to use the restroom. And then the pain kind of started. And I couldn't sleep because I just could not get comfortable again i guess i lost my comfortable position when i had woke up so i couldn't get it again so i stayed up watched tiktok bought stuff on amazon um i bought some like um shower things for my huge reset that i'm planning on doing anyways that's besides the point so i did a little shopping now i'm watching youtube and just waited it out yeah I'm dreading going down the stairs, so I don't know how that's going to go. Um, this is my first time having my hair out in two weeks. I decided it's time to give my scarf a break. She's been on for two weeks straight. <laughs> my hair does not look great, but it's okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm scared. My physical therapy is now pushed to next week, Tuesday, guys. 
I don't know if I told you guys this, but it's not Friday anymore. It's not Tuesday because there's no one to take me on Friday. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm at the hospital. Hi guys. Okay, so I am now in my room. It feels great to start putting pressure to kind of support me a little bit because my right knee is starting to suffer, which is not good. Um, so after my left knee is all checked and all good and all healed, I gotta check on my right knee because she's also giving me issues, especially lately. She is now swollen because she's my only primary knee that all my weight is going on. Yeah, okay, um, this is me ending this video because like I said, this video is already so long. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a tough two weeks. Well, it's gonna get easier, but it's still, you know, ongoing. Um, it's only up from here. Anyways, um, I am so glad I brought you guys along with me. Uh, but anyways, keep in mind that everyone's recovery journey is different like what my recovery journey looks like might not be what somebody else re recovery journey looks like mine look is not easy <laughs> but it's gonna get easier um and the next couple of videos regarding my acl are gonna be weekly videos now where i'm gonna be taking you guys to physical therapy with me and exercise around the house with me or just you know things i'm doing to get me mobilized and you know healed so i can get onto my right knee and fix her up if anything so like i can have two good knees <laughs> so i can go back to being the active yg that i used to be i hope this video is a lesson that if you feel like something is wrong get a second opinion it, it's there's nothing wrong with getting a second opinion I wish I would have gotten a second opinion sooner. It did take me three, almost four years. I think it's four years now, actually. It took me four years to get a second opinion, but things happen, okay? And because of that, now my right knee is suffering because hurting my left knee three years ago made me put pressure that my let my right knee cannot, you know, take. And now she is starting to suffer. So... And now with this post-op and me hopping on my <laughs> right knee, there's a lot of pressure on her. So she is like swollen. Um, so now I have to deal with another knee because I was not heard when I spoke up. And now I have PTSD. <laughs> um, for I am forever going to be getting second opinions on any health matter. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, it was a long couple of weeks but you know we got we got through it and we got to the post op and good news and you know everything looked great she told me my stitches look great i have the dissolved stitches so by like third week it should all be gone like my stitches so anyways i love you guys thank you for the support thank you for the um well wishes and thank you for just being understanding and being here and i hope this video finds you well and um please keep in mind be nice in the comments um it was it's been it's it is a rough couple of weeks for me and it still is but please be nice um i love you guys and if you're new here and this is my first video you're watching um go ahead and subscribe trust me you're gonna love it here um and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye